if you had uh, three different apps from three different retailers on your phone, um, all of which were using normal location services that might be accurate to 200 metres, the problem you'd have as soon as you walk into Westfield is they'd all go off at once. And as a consumer, that's, that's like email spam on your phone. Um, but also, I guess there's two different messages that you would, you would get. So when you're away from a location and the marketing is trying to drive you into a location, the message you might give is something to, uh, to get you to go there. So for a pizza restaurant, it could be um, get two pizzas for the price of one, for example. However, the message you would give a consumer when they arrive would be very, very different. Because they're already there, you don't want to give them two pizzas for the price of one. You want to get them to buy a bottle of wine when they might not have normally bought one. So the offer might be buy a bottle of wine, get one free. So the offers are very, very different, I think, and it's a very different opportunity for retailers. This is two things that have to happen. Um, the retailer has to go along to one of their competitor stores once and, and have a look at the beacon and, and see what the configuration is and then, and then build it into their app. But from that point onwards, once a consumer actually walks into the store, um, actually it will be using um, the, the beacon that's been installed in that store, so they don't have to be within 200 metres. It's actually the consumer when they walk over the threshold, so maybe 20 to 30 metres, for example. We're certainly looking, as AppFlare, at, at a number of technologies with some partners where you can make the whole payment experience a lot easier. Um, so you can walk into a store and without having to uh, you know, tap seven things on your phone and stand on your head and then, uh, then wave it in front of somebody, actually you can make a payment really quickly and easily, maybe without even having to take the phone out of your pocket. And I think that's, uh, we're trying to find sort of that magical experience that makes shopping really easy for consumers. Probably not the worst case scenario, but a very real threat is if you have two retailers, and, and let's say it's Tesco's and Sainsbury's, for example. If Tesco's put iBeacons in, in their stores, Sainsbury's could decide to, um, to, to trigger actions in, in the Sainsbury's app when somebody walks into Tesco's. And that could be Sainsbury's customer walks into Tesco's, uh, sees the, the Tesco's beacon and says to the consumer, ah, you've walked into Tesco's. Actually, why don't you turn around now and come into Sainsbury's and we'll give you £50 off your shop.